We want to solve the given equations. Looking at the first equation, the solution is the value of x that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. The first step in solving the equation is to simplify both sides of the equation. On the left side of the equation, we can clear the parentheses and combine like terms, which means we begin by distributing four. Distributing four, we have four times x, which is four x. And then four times eight is 32, giving us plus 32. And we still have minus 11 minus three x equals negative 10. And now on the left side, notice how we have like terms. We have two x terms and we have two constants. Four x minus three x is one x or x. And then we have 32 minus 11, which is 21, giving us plus 21. And this is equal to, on the right, negative 10. And now to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have x plus 21 on the left. In order to isolate x, we need to undo the plus 21 by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. To undo the plus 21, we subtract 21 on both sides. Simplifying, we have x, and then 21 minus 21 is zero, which is why we subtracted 21 on both sides. We have x equals, on the right side, negative 10 minus 21 is negative 31. The solution to the equation is x equals negative 31, which means if we substitute negative 31 for x, back into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's go ahead and check this. Substituting negative 31 for x, we have four times the quantity negative 31 plus eight, and then minus 11 minus three times negative 31 equals negative 10. Now let's evaluate the left side on the calculator. Again, we have four times the quantity negative 31 plus eight, minus 11, minus three times negative 31, enter, which equals negative 10. So the left side is equal to negative 10, giving us negative 10 equals negative 10, which is true, which verifies our solution is correct. For the next equation, again, the first step is to simplify the left side of the equation by first clearing the parentheses by distributing and then combining like terms. So we will distribute four here, and then because of the subtraction, we will distribute negative three here. Four times x is four x. Four times negative two is negative eight, giving us minus eight. And now again, because of the subtraction, we distribute negative three. Negative three times x is negative three x, giving us minus three x. And at negative three times positive two is negative six, giving us minus six equals seven. And now we combine like terms on the left. We combine the x terms and we combine the constants. Four x minus three x is one x or x. And then we have negative eight minus six, which is negative 14, giving us minus 14 equals seven. And now to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side, which means we need to undo the subtraction or undo the minus 14 by adding 14 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative 14 plus 14 is zero. The left side simplifies to x. x equals seven plus 14, which is 21. The solution is x equals 21. But again, let's check this by making sure that it does satisfy the original equation. Substituting 21 back into the original equation, we have four times the quantity 21 minus two minus three times the quantity 21 plus two equals seven. And again, let's go ahead and evaluate the left side on the calculator. So four times the quantity 21 minus two minus three times the quantity 21 plus two, enter, which does equal seven. And since seven equals seven is true, our solution is correct. 
I hope you found this helpful.